Hey YouTube, thanks for looking at my uh, video about buying and restoring a uh, 53 Willys Jeep. This was a barn find in the uh, hills of New Mexico. I didn't actually intend to, uh, to buy this. I just was more curious when I went and looked at it. But the price was right. It was about 1200 bucks. I couldn't see any structural damage. Uh, there's some stuff here and there. You'll notice a little rust down there but nothing that was uh, a real deal killer I guess the thing that I liked the most about it was the fact that the guy I bought it from was the original owner and so he still had the uh, the bill of sale from the Willys dealer he had put 22,000 miles on it uh, driving around his property primarily a farm and then in uh, when was it the late 70s his son thinking he was doing dad a favor went out and changed the uh, the coolant in the radiator and basically wound up just putting water in instead of uh, water and the uh, antifreeze combination what that did was that wound up freezing the uh, engine block and cracking it so in an effort to teach the son a lesson dad sent uh, the kid out to the neighbor next door and uh, what's underneath that blue tarp is what I'm getting at but dad sent the kid to the neighbor next door who had a brand new uh, L134 go devil engine sitting in his garage and the son bought it and then they took it to uh, to town to an engine builder and had it professionally gone over and so when I bought this vehicle basically it had a brand new unmounted engine sitting in the back that turned out to be sort of a curse as well as a uh, a blessing it was a curse because it got to a point after I had mounted it a couple of times that I discovered that the uh, the seals on everything were shot so even though it was a brand new nice tight engine I still had to pretty much disassemble all of it and uh and replace the seals and uh and a couple of other things that i'll show you in other videos now in making or in deciding to uh to do this renovation i took close to a thousand pictures and i've only i'm only showing you a couple in uh, these three installments but if anybody out there is doing a uh uh a restoration on uh willie's cj3 and probably two uh, let me know and I can send you some detailed pictures or post them or something the other thing that was sort of a blessing and a curse at the same time was this th this Jeep is serial number zero 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 two which means it was probably well, obviously second in line on the assembly line the first day and I thought that was cool and so there's uh, the blessing factor but the curse was I actually discovered that this was made from some 52 parts as well as 53 parts and that became an issue later and uh, figuring out exactly what was what and what I uh, needed to replace uh, was, was a little more of a challenge than I had expected the uh, along the way of taking pictures and disassembling and everything I decided that you know I had the, the time I had the money and I, I the nice thing was I had two friends one was a, uh, a body shop guy who could do sandblasting and the painting and all that and the other guy was a welder and he also did sandblasting so uh, again that's just, that's the plate right there showing number two but the the key thing with having these friends was that if I needed to get something done I could get it done uh, maybe not necessarily cheap but I could get it done the way that I wanted it to get done and that was important to me because there were some things that I just didn't have the skill set to get involved with and a lot of that was the uh, the painting and some of the body work uh, most of the body is original here I'm pointing out the, the mounting locations for the uh, gas tank strap and also for the uh, the seat but there was some some of the body work I didn't want to get involved with and some of the uh, 
uh, what else? Body work and the paint thing. I, I wanted a professional quality paint job. Uh, what else can I tell you about this segment? Not much. Uh, these are all pictures from the first day I got it. I, I didn't touch it for a couple of days. I took pictures, like I said, I priced everything out and then uh, began the disassembly and the cleaning. And that's what you're going to see in the uh, second installment. I'll go over some of the uh, issues I faced there because what I discovered was the engine that I had did not mate up well with the uh, bell housing that was in the vehicle, even though you would expect them to fit together like a hand in a glove. That was not the case. So again, as I, as I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If, uh, if you're in the process of doing a restoration and need some detailed photos or something, I've got everything. It's just a question of your ability to describe to me the area that you need information or a picture about. And I, uh, I probably can, can help you out with that. Uh, again, this is John Shalka 4 Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. If you want, I've got a couple of other Jeep uh, related videos there, uh, as well as uh, starting this thing up and test driving and stuff like that. So, uh, hope to see you at the, uh, the next video. Again, this is uh, day one of my uh, barn find rebuild.